in this lesson we will see what is the extended primitives is in 3d max so let's get started uh, if you see here standard primitives below that it's an extended primitives just click on extended primitives so there are the uh, objects first we will see this hedra so by dragging if you see it's a very simple objects but if you orbit around i'll press alt on my keyboard and middle mouse button so you can orbit around if you see it's very simple object i'll go to modify you can see there are options like cube octa so in this you can change its parameters like this this star one if you want to uh, just get rid of this grid just press g on your keyboard to unhide this grid and if you want the grid you can press g again so i'll press g to unhide the grid so it is lot more of confusing while seeing the orbit so this is one parameters and this is q second parameters you can click start to again the object changes like this so this is what and uh, is an axis scaling you can see reset see if you see over here you can see the scaling basically it's a uh, scaling of an uh, parameters p q r like this so second object i'll go and i don't want to save this i'll say reset no oh, and yes go to again extended primitives i'll say chamfer box if you drag like this from top viewport click it's a box if you see uh, on first uh, i'll just change this realistic to shade it now you can see the slight chamfered corner how this happened it has a small option called fillet like length width height is common the this is extra so if there is fillet you will get the chamfer curve so but we don't have a segment if you increase the segment you will get smooth corners so this is what the chamfer is generally we can call as a fillet so for this you can say length width and height but if you have noticed this is written mm don't worry about it i'll explain you everything about the inches mm and how to set the units but still we will concentrate on some basic stuffs so you can able to get what it is so now i'll go to modify here are our segments if you press f4 on your keyboard you can see the segments this is the length segments this is the width segment and this is the height segment now i'll take second option like oil tank and see this tank i'll go to modify say radius say height cap height blend blending the cylinder and circle like this you can blend it we can add segments you can add sides you can have a slice as well so i'll go to fix bundle and gone again if you go to modify you can always modify all those things to ring wave there is a special thing in this ring wave if you see it's a simple object but when you play it there is a play button you play the animation there's a inbuilt animation in this i'll go to modify 
ring wave radius radial segments say ring width again you can see the how it plays and you can extrude as well see this is you can extrude and you can always play grow and stay so you can play like this grow and stay cyclic growth so this is what it takes n time 100 grow time 60 you can change it over here it's a very good playable option 30 you can say play so this is what and then torus knot is there you can go to modify you can see a lot of options radius segments p and q there's a twist 0 1 1 will be a round so i can add some twist don't want p equal maybe 3 or it may be 1.5 something like that so say radius again see you can come down with the radius sides eccentricity so you can bend around if you go to circle and say eccentricity you can able to get it properly can have a ring like finger ring with this you can say twist lumps lump height it's a lumps you can say come down with the lumps like this lump offset so this is what and again we have a capsule spindle a ring wave we have seen prism hose hose is very different kind of uh, object in extended primitives if you see there is a bound to object pivots i'll let you know uh, right now because we don't have to see again what is a uh, hose does basically it's very simple so if you see a free hose which uh, have a lot of options about the height and segments as of and start cycle end cycle this is the end cycle where you want to end and these are the cycles how many cycles are there if you want two three four or five and diameter of it so if you have two more objects like I'll take one box I just drag this box to hose I don't want such a big box so I said scale it down press R and scale this so click here I'll just press a Z on my keyboard it's a zoom now I'll make a copy of it we have learned how to make a copy if you press shift and drag it will make a copy now i'll say ok i'll click on bound hose and uh, say mount to object pick top object pick bottom object now if i select this box and do up and down this is what it happens 
it is pounding to that box so it has been sticked the top and the bottom it's like a spring so this is what the different part of this hose so let's say extended primitives again it's have a L type extension drag here and wide then thickness of the wall I'll go to modify with the side length you can adjust there is a front length side width front width and the height of course we have segment option so we can add the segment as well and the C extension so this is what to modify you can adjust all those things as of we have seen all those uh, objects so in next lesson we will see a spline how to use the shapes and the splines so in next lesson we will see that